Hey everyone, um, well, I'm on the Amtrak auto train now, um, this will be the next stage in my progress through the Disney Professional Internship Program, um, if you're coming from somewhere like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, um, I guess really any, uh, upper northeast state taking the trip down to Washington DC pretty much and hopping on this train with your car is a pretty good option when you're going to move uh, for the several months that you'll be doing the internship. Um, I'm kind of speaking a little quieter hopefully you can hear me over the squeaking of the train but there's people all around me and I'm pretty sure the walls are not as thin as some, but probably thin enough that they can kind of hear me um, and I don't want to disrupt anyone, but ironically I brought my PS4 on the train in the like game sentinel case and I forgot the controller and the power plug for it, so I comically have brought brought up on the train a briefcase with my PS4 and no way to play it, so I just thought, you know, while I have the time, I'll make this video. Okay, so in the last part that you just saw, I cut it short because I ended up going off to dinner and I totally forgot to finish off the video, but um, I'm actually now at the house that I'm renting. Um, there's three other people renting this place as well. And this is my room. And I've already gone to the like sign-in thing where they do the background checks and Pretty much make sure that you are who you are and you're able to work in the US. If you know all the forms, it's the I-9 form that was pretty much signed at that thing. And tomorrow, which is Saturday, is my traditions thing, which I, I've heard is fun. And some people actually have different opinions about it, so I'll get to see what that is and it's the early morning thing, so that's 8.30, and I also have my first day of work on Monday at 5 a.m., which I am so not used to having to wake up so early, because I'm pretty much going to have to wake up at 3.45 or something to actually get dressed, get ready, and have something to eat before I go off. Um, luckily, it's only a 10-minute drive from where I am right now. And if my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I kind of just woke up and I'm tired and haven't fully woken up yet. All right, so uh, quick mention, I totally forgot to make the last bit of that video that you just kind of saw. So uh, I've kind of been editing, um, as you can kind of notice by my computer right there, um, probably showing exactly what I was saying. But Traditions was kind of weird for any of you that may actually come here from looking up any of the tags that I have that involve the Disney PI program or Traditions. You may know what I'm talking about because there's a possibility that you've either already gone to Traditions or you expect to have gone by the time that I post this video. And you will probably know what I'm talking about with what happens in Traditions. I won't mention it because that would ruin what Traditions is meant to kind of be. It's, it's pretty much how to be a Disney employee or cast member and how to live up to Disney's expectations as an employee. And I've actually had two weeks of work. The first week was pretty much three days where I was wholly doing training for my job, I needed to get like the OSHA training. Also got all of my like 
personal protective equipment, aka PPE, if I make a comment about that in, fu in future videos, that's what I'm talking about, um, which is pretty much one of those vests that you see construction people wear when they're doing road work, or really in general, because when they're working, it's mostly at night. And then the last two days were pretty much me starting to do work, and I was working in the hanging baskets, which is generally if you see Disney property, you see like a whole bunch of hanging baskets on Main Street, USA, um, hanging baskets at like fast pass areas, kind of just all the hanging baskets as well as some of the um, like potted plants that you see that are in containers. Um, my next rotation which starts this year, this week, is going to be the greens, which is pretty much the trees, the shrubs. If you know the construction, you know that there's sometimes a like wall of shrubs that are in like these rolling containers. That I know is another thing. Um, and then since I'm going to be working the Flower and Garden Festival, there's all the topiaries that you see there. And of course, I cannot mention pretty much any of the characters or anything that people don't already already know. So the topiaries is pretty much as specific as I can get with it. Um, my shifts are currently 5 to 1, um, 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. But I know that in the future, probably like in a month, I'll have um, 12 a.m. to 8 a.m., which I'm honestly not work looking forward to because that means that I'm going to pretty much be shifting my active hours a whole 12 hours, um, which is kind of annoying because I'll be up when people are normally asleep and it's kind of annoying because when I when I wake up, I'm already pretty tired because I'm not I'm still not used to waking up at five, and I know that the minute I get so used to it is when I'm going to have my shift change. Um, I know for a lot of people, they have shifts that are like all through the week, from like Saturday to Sun Saturday through to Friday and all that stuff, but I'm lucky enough where my days off are Saturday and Sundays. Um, unfortunately, when I'm done with work and on my days off, I end up pretty tired and exhausted and not wanting to do anything. So yesterday I managed to finally go grocery shopping for myself and actually get some gas for my car, which Luckily, I still had, like, pretty much, like, three or four, like, little notches until empty, but I don't know what I'll be doing, so I have to, I filled my tank up halfway because the gas station was a little awkward. Um, in other words, the little, like, stall thingy wasn't taking my card, so I actually had to go into the 7-Eleven and have the cashier load up twenty dollars in the at the pump, and then I had to fill up for twenty dollars, which ends up being just about half a tank. But I couldn't really tell how much money my full tank needs, as normally I kind of use a gas card that my parents loan me. But anyways, that was my. Pretty much, I came to Florida and my first two weeks at the job. Um, hopefully I manage to make another video next week or even during this week talking about how I feel in the different area. And I will definitely end up making a video on how I feel the first day of, um, I think it's called graveyard shift when you're like, awake when everyone else isn't but subscribe here and here is a video that you may like see you in the next one